Hi, George here. We finally get new stuff to do here in the desert biome. Minecraft 120 introduces archaeology and camels into the desert biome. With archaeology, you can find pottery shards and other loot when brushing a suspicious sand block. So let's do some archaeology here in Minecraft. You use a brush that's crafted with a feather, a copper ingot, and a stick to brush away the sand from the artifact. Now the hardest thing to find here in the desert is going to be that feather. So if you want to make these brushes in the desert, make sure you bring some feathers with you or make your brushes ahead of time. Now brushes wear out pretty quickly, so you may want to bring two or three brushes with you when you're hunting for artifacts. In the actual game mechanics, the artifact or treasure loot is slowly revealed, and once fully revealed, it's added into your inventory. And the suspicious sand block then turns back into a normal sand block. This means, of course, you only get one item drop per block, that's fine. And you can only get the loot if you use the brush to brush it out. If you try to mine the block with any other tool, it's going to drop as normal sand and you lose the loot. Even if you try using Silk Touch, that's not going to work. You have to use that brush. If you're lucky, the block will drop a pottery shard, but blocks can also drop sticks, diamonds, and other treasures. Now in the Desert Pyramid, you can get one of three different pottery designs. The Archer, the Prize, or the Skull. You could also get Gunpowder, TNT, Diamond, or Emerald. Now there's an equal chance to get any one of these items, so you have an even 1 in 7 chance to get any specific loot item. So you can only possibly get three of the four different designs in the pyramid. In the desert well, you can get the arms up pottery shard, that's the fourth one, or a brick, a stick, suspicious stew, or an emerald. In the well, you have a higher chance of getting a pottery shard over the other loot items. You have a 3 in 7 chance of getting a pottery shard, and the rest have a 1 in 7 chance. So you have a pretty good chance of getting that one pottery shard but you'll have to look in temples and wells to get all four different designs. Okay, let's take a look at this well here and we'll see what we get. Let's start by hitting the F3 key and seeing what we have down here. I'll just point this at those different blocks and see what we have. Looks like that one is suspicious sand right there. That's just regular sand. That's regular sand. So we have, looks like three suspicious sand inside here and two regular sand. Okay, and I need to remove that water, so I'm just going to grab some sand over here and we'll use the sand to get rid of the water inside of that well. We only need five, but I'll just grab a couple of extra ones here just in case. You never can tell what's going to happen. There we go, that's six, that's enough. And we'll just drop this right on top of the water in the well. Place one there, place one in the middle, place one on both of those two sides there. Okay, that gets rid of the water. Let's now take these back out again. There we go. Get those last three on the sides. And now we can see that suspicious sand right down the middle. It has a coarser look to it. There we go. More sandy up on top and then more coarse on the suspicious sand. Let's now take our brush and I'll brush away on the suspicious sand right there. Just like hitting it with a shovel or something. So the motion looks different, but it's the same technique. Just gonna be brushing away. And there's our first pottery shard. That's a good one. Let's brush our second one out of here, see what we get on this. Looks like a pottery shard again. Yep, that's two pottery shards. Okay, our third spot over here. Let's see what we get on this one. Can't tell. Doesn't look promising. Oh, it's just a stick. Well, that's not too exciting. We can get sticks any other place. So we got two pottery shards out of this well. That's not too bad. Now, we also only have the arms up pottery shards, so we have two of those. We can still use those to make our decorated pot. Let's go over to a crafting table and see how you use these pottery shards. You can use pottery shards or bricks to make the pots. Here's the two that we just found. I'll just bring those up right here. They're the same thing, the arms up pottery shard. Now to make a pot, you use any combination of pottery shards and bricks. You need four just like that. And that gives you your pot on the right hand side, decorated pot. If you have a pottery shard, you'll have decoration on that side. If you use a brick, you're just gonna have a plain side to that. So if I do four bricks, I'll have just a plain pot. It'll say decorated, but it's just gonna be plain pot with just plain sides on that. You can combine bricks and pottery shards to make a pot that also works. We'll do two bricks and two pottery shards, and there we go. Still a decorated pot. Let's see these pots look on the ground. Here's our first one. That one's just plain. Let's try this next one here. This one we made with the Two shards and two bricks, so it has patterns on two sides and no patterns on two sides. And we'll do two more. There we go. Let's put these down. And the first one on this, I think, is 
patterns all sides. There it is. And this last one here is a plain one. And if you add flower pots to the top, it looks good, matches perfectly. And you can then place flowers into them. You can't place a flower without the flower pot, but you can place it with a flower pot. There we go. Or a stick, which actually works better inside the desert. Let's just finish these two off right here. I'll put a flower right there. We'll do that one. That looks good. So you can make these much more decorative if you put a flower pot on top of them, which as you can see, blends in perfectly with the design. It's a real nice look. This would be a great decorative look for almost any good base. So as far as decorations go, I think this one really adds a lot to the game. Since the decorative pot is really a build item, kind of a decorative build item, there are lots of possibilities. The obvious ones right here, just using lanterns and torches. For some basic looks, that's a lightning rod right here and right there. Nothing unusual about that, but it works out pretty well. I do find it interesting though that when you put the lantern on top, it kind of sinks into the top like that, giving it a little bit of a different look. You also can stack this on top of other blocks that work out well. This is just a block of terracotta right there. Looks pretty good. One of the things I find interesting about the decorative block is that it's a little bit thinner than a regular block. You can see it right there. And that means that we can do some interesting things with this. If you stack these, notice that the neck is hidden and they stack like a regular block, which means you can make some interesting towers using these, just every other one with a different block type. And you get a nice tower effect, nice column effect in here. They're also interesting to use as a ceiling feature. Notice we have that space in between. Very unusual, you can of course put lanterns on the bottom side of those as well if you wanted to. There we go. Now coming down here just a little ways, I placed these in here as part of a wall and you get this kind of a little peephole or a little spot to look through right there. So again, having that space in there because these are just a little bit smaller opens up some very interesting possibilities. Now these of course are just made with bricks and these made with pottery shards. It works either way. If all you have are bricks, you can just go ahead and put an item frame on top, put something in your item frame, and again, it's decorated right there. So you don't have to hunt down those pottery shards. You can just do it with just item frames, and it still has a very nice look, and we still get that interesting effect of being a little bit thinner or skinnier. Now, this one has a pottery shard in here as the item frame item. Also looks good. So they're pretty good as straight decorative blocks, as you can see in here. Lots and lots of possibilities with these things especially if you're doing ancient American, Mayan, Egyptian kind of looks, kind of that primitive look, the primitive East Asian look maybe. Here's a fast idea on doing a lamppost, or you could do this as a chandelier, using this as just part of that effect. And it works out, I think, very, very well. So as a decorative block or a building block, I think this is giving us a lot of opportunities, especially if you begin thinking of these as building blocks as we have right here with that smaller size really opens up a lot of new potential here for some very interesting and creative builds. If you want to try this out in Java, go up to installations in the launcher, make sure that snapshots is checked right here. Then you'll see a latest snapshot right here. And the first time you play this, you'll have to put in a name and you should set this into a new game directory that's not in the same directory as your regular game. That way you won't mess things up accidentally with any of the problems in the beta feature. So make sure you put this into a new directory. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and start a new game, click on play. Now it's going to download this, as you can see right there, and get that updated. As soon as that does, it will take you into the normal launch screen, which is right here, go into single player. And then to set up a new game, you'll need to come down to create new world. And in here, give it a name and then click on experiments. And where it says update, 120 right here. Make sure that is on. So click the off button and turn that over to on. There we go. And then click on the done. Let that load in. And then click on create new world. And then you can start a new game just like that. I'm not sure if archaeology really adds much to the game, but it is fun. And if you like spending time in the desert biome, it does give you more to do. Now the problem of course is that once the pottery is made, it's just decorative at that point. It's great for builders, but not much else. The real addition here is the chance to get diamonds or emeralds in the suspicious sand. That is a real benefit. And this does add a chance for loot to desert wells. And even that's not much as you will almost always get emeralds from pyramid chests. And you may also get diamonds there as well. So actually, I like the new archaeology feature. It's fun to brush off that suspicious sand and reveal the loot inside. 
adds a nice mechanic to the game. And the villagers didn't seem to be bothered about my raiding their well, probably because there's a river nearby. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel for more great Minecraft videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.